Hello everybody. We are just getting ready to go out to Blunson House Hotel to do our talk. I had a shave so I've got the moustache looking in its prime. Hello world, we are here for a very specific talk at Blunson House Hotel about brand marketing. Every time. <laughs> Biggest miss in history mate. Every time. Best place in the world. <laughs> We're about to do a talk, me and Dan, about brand, and Josh is going to give us a word that we've just sneak into the brand. Ben has to sneak in the word angel delight. Dan has to sneak in the word pork shoulder. Pork chop. Pork chop. Pork chop. I've got my life. Okay, I'm not looking forward to this. Hi guys, a few minutes later. I think me and Dan always like, you know, we walk into these things and think, yeah, you know, we're just, just going to own this. And we get up there, we always think, oh, should we do more practice? Well, I think it went really well. It would be good to do a public speaking course at one at some point, because I like how all the blokes do this on, on telly. Yes. Joss, how was it from your point of view? Did we look nervous? No. Uh, we I'm, didn't. I'm not just saying that because I'm your, your, my bosses. You both did really well. You're my boss. No, I'm not. <laughs> and that is another successful talk by me. I nailed it. I carried the team. Joss? Yeah. Dan? Yeah. Yeah, well done everyone, especially me. Auto works out. Nice. There it is. First drive. How was the talk? T2 Fitness. The talk at T2 Fitness was very good. We, there was like 50 people in that room. Uh, probably our biggest talk yet, I'd say. Yes. When we went into that room, there was only just us three in there. And I, the adrenaline that I had inside my body went from zero to 100 very, very quick. Yeah. Could you tell? Yeah, I could tell by the fact you gave me a hug afterwards. Yeah, I don't hug people very often. I think I've, you've counted how many times I've hugged you. Three hugs. Five years in business, three hugs. <laughs> That's a good average. I'm not even getting one a year, it's despicable. Public talking, ironically, even if it doesn't show, definitely gets my nerves going. And it's something I want to be better at. I go into like a weird, like, my, like I go, just go into a different headspace where I start, not rambling, but I just have to, I start, I'm, I'm a different me on stage. You definitely swore a lot more than I thought you were going to do. Especially yeah. when on the third slide of the deck, you literally said, motherfucker. Pretty hard going, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> the back of that talk, there was like four people who tagged us on Instagram on stories saying that they've like just got themselves on camera like they've never really done it before and mm -hmm. they like properly spoke down the lens. And that was one of the main, the main parts, one of the crucial points to our whole presentation was about being you as a brand and putting yourself outside of your comfort zone actually speaking on camera. So well done to them. If you or someone you love would like us to do a talk on brand, video or anything that we've done with Otter, please let us know. Yeah, we enjoyed it and we're up for more. We're trying to look for boxes, and this is our storage up here. Do you want to have a look? <laughs> As you can see, lots of boxes. Assistance. Assistance required. Go, drop. See, this is the problem with the video production business. You collect all kinds of shit. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Josh. How are you doing? I'm good. How are yes, you doing? Good, thank you. I have quite a few meetings today, actually. Didn't put my business hat on today. Hat. Because, you know, times are happening where I'm going to have to become more of a business leader in this office. Guy in the corner over there with a great sports engineering office is going to go on paternity leave soon because he's pregnant. So business Dan is back in motion like the early days. At the helm baby. Like never before. How are you both feeling Positive. about this? Well you are having a kid. Yeah what's scarier then? Dan having a child this. or me being on emails? <laughs> Pass. <laughs> but no, having a kid. And I, I have full confidence in Dan. Uh, I guess we'll put it down to how many times he texts me, asking me questions, which I, I'm more than happy for you to do. Thank you. Rather than not do. Yeah. Uh, I just hope that Dan doesn't nail it. <laughs> I'm a bit worried. And I come back and he's like, yeah, your job's kind of piss easy, mate. I don't think we need you anymore. I'm looking forward to doing paydays. I'm in charge of paydays from now on. If you're not in charge of paydays, mate, they're all mad. So, none of us getting paid then? I'm in charge of invoicing and uh, cash flow bookkeeping. Again, you're not doing that. And I'll be looking after the company miles, mileage. <laughs> I'll, be changing, I'll be changing company mileage to company smileage. Uh, what are three top tips to closing deals? Three top tips to closing deals. Be quick, attention to detail, and money. If they don't like the money, they're not going to sign the deal. You have to be quick or else someone might get in there before you and the middle one doesn't really matter. Because <laughs> I can't remember it. <laughs> oh yeah, actually, second to that, we got a bottle of Jack Daniels in the post. Here, Ben. Is that it? <laughs> <laughs> no, we did, a, we did a talk recently and Stu had sent us this as a little thank you. So thank you very much, Stu. You. Ready? <laughs> one more time. There it is. Biceps.